you guys, Matt here, and I've got Safi here with me, whose mum's actually up in the uh, commission homes here behind us. Again, just repeating, uh, 1,400 different rooms have been shut down, 3,000 people overall here in uh, Flemington and in North Melbourne as well. Now, this has been done under a directive for COVID-19, but I think there's a lot more to it. So, Safi, your mum's in here? Yes, indeed. Look, a very pathetic uh, decision, to be honest. There is no any whatsoever consideration for um, all the people, people at risk, like our mother, uh, who's about 75 years of age, she needs our care, she needs medication, of course. Uh, she doesn't speak English very well, and uh, we can't just have access to her at all whatsoever. And um, look, uh, we haven't seen, I haven't seen this before. Yeah. Look, uh, Australia is different now. Yes, we understand COVID-19. You know, it takes a lot for us to protect the community, the others, but not this way. This restrictions and this lockdown could be better than this. This is really not the good lockdown. We were talking earlier about the fact that psychologically this can play a big factor on people and that the COVID-19 directive actually has a little label in it that says if people are mentally distressed or physically distressed they can actually say to the police that they'd like to get out so hopefully your mother or yes. people inside we want to get the message to people inside of course if someone knocks on the door and you're not feeling well mentally physically say it because it's against the directive of course I didn't know about this myself and thanks to uh, Matt who really informed me about um, if there is our cases where like, you know, people are not really uh, very comfortable because of the psychological